Today we are going to talk about several ways to have internet in your home kahit blackout. And one of those tips will only cost us 30 pesos. Tapos may internet na tayo kahit walang kuryente. But Slater, meron na kayong malaking generator. Bakit hindi nyo nalang gamitin yun para may power yung bahay nyo? At may internet pa. Well, to be perfectly honest, this has been a wonderful, wonderful generator for us. 12 hours a day namin ginagamit during Typhoon Odette. We had no power here at the Skypod for about a month. But meron siyang mga downsides. The first downside is because it's noisy and naririnig siya throughout the house. Hindi yung maingay na maingay pero may hum talaga. Alam mong naka-generator power ka. Second, for most people, this is a factor also. Nakikita natin dito na may ducting kaming nilalagay because meron siyang usok. So, we had to divert it somewhere else so that we don't smell the exhaust. And lastly, and it's the biggest thing and that's why we only run it for 12 hours a day is because this costs a lot of money, especially ngayon, na mahal na yung diesel. So, this at that time, I remember, cost us about 300 pesos an hour to run. So, that's 12 hours, so 3,000 plus pesos per day of running it. And we ran it for about a month. Woo! <laughs> so, importante pa rin to. I actually recommend this brand. I'll put links down below to their generators. They've served us well so far. But during those blackouts, we found ourselves in moments na hindi namin kailangan ng kuryente throughout the entire home. Hindi namin kailangan ng ilaw, hindi namin kailangan ng refrigerator na umaandar. All we needed was internet so that makapagtrabaho kami. Diba yung laptop natin is battery powered, mobile phone, battery powered. So ito lang talaga ang kailangan natin and we wished na at least meron bang battery powered router. Well. That's our video for today. Guys, everything we're going to talk about today, I'll put a link down below to Lazada. This is to celebrate Lazada's 10th epic birthday sale that's happening this March 27 to 29. So what I typically do is add to cart na ngayon and pagdating sa March 27, buy na agad para hindi tayo mauunahan. It's going to have free shipping with zero minimum spend. Mayroon pang 10% Lazada bonus discount and 10% cash back. So, it's a good deal. I'll put all the links down below. So, we have our modem and our router. The best part about these is they are not power hungry. Kadalasan, they only need 12 volts and around 1 to 2 amperes of electricity. So, we'll start off with the cheapest solution, of course, my pros and cons, and the most expensive solution na sabihin natin a little bit better and might be able to do a whole lot more than just power this one. So we all have power banks like these lying around the house. If only we can use them to power our modems and our routers, diba? Well, you're in luck po, ma'am sir. This is what they call a step-up cable or a boost cable. So, meron tayong dalawang different versions here. And what it does is it converts the USB power into a 12 volt DC power that's capable of running our modems and our routers. Now all we have to do with this is plug it in our power bank and ta -ta -da -da, we have router. And we can do the exact same thing for our modems. And you can see very faintly na umaandar na yung modem natin. So the pros and cons of this one. Well, the biggest pro is that it's very cheap. Ito yung sinasabi ko na 30 pesos lang. Siyempre, it's just a wire. I feel like this works well, pero mas confident ako ng konti. This is a little bit more substantial, thicker wire. This is around 160 pesos and meron siyang parang brick dito. I really don't know what this is. Comment down below if you do. But both of them seem to work very, very well. This is my favorite power bank. Yung mga power banks na may plug na dito so you can use it as a charger and sometimes you can turn it on also. So I'll put all the links down below. This one is from Anchor. Anyway, a little bit of a con with this one is that kahit naka-plug to and it's charging full battery here, I actually try this out. I plug this in and plug this directly to the modem, di ba? Hoping that when it's blackout, mag-automatic nito siyang umaandar. 
but for some reason it doesn't work like that. I think all of these do not work like that. Kailangan ko tong manually turn on every time there's a blackout, meaning pag may power interruption, na interrupt din yung internet for a little bit. And from my experience in computation, a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank will power these two sabay sabay about one hour. So I would say it's not bad considering sobrang mura lang ng mga wires na kailangan natin to link these up together. Ah. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa budget solution. But the problem with the power bank booster cable setup or hack, I every time that there's a blackout, you have to connect everything manually and hindi siya seamless and hindi siya automatic. But what if gusto natin na hindi natin nafeel yung pagputol ng internet kahit may blackout? There is a device that's made specially for those types of scenarios, and that is something you might be familiar with. This is a UPS or an uninterruptible power supply, and this one is powering our hard drive station right now. And nung blackout, kino connect namin din yung router and yung modem namin dito sa likod. You just have to plug it in. From our experience, it lasts about 30 minutes considering it's powering three devices na. But this one is a little bit more on the pricey end, mga 8,000 pesos. But I don't recommend this if you are not using a hard drive. Meron to siyang mga tech dito na nagko-control sa aming hard drive. What you'll need is a basic one which ranges from around 1,800 to 3,000 pesos. And those would be from a brand called APC. It's a good trusted brand. Again, Let's add the links down below. Now, lahat ng napag-usapan natin na hacks were very effective. We actually used them during the blackouts. But we weren't able to use them regularly. And that is because it lasts only one, two hours maximum. And gusto namin na buong araw meron kaming internet dito sa bahay. And this next device is what we really use. Although a little bit more pricey. This is what you call a power station. It's mabigat, but it's very, very powerful and it has a lot longer storage battery. Again, yung problema nito is hindi seamless yung internet connection whenever there's a brownout. You have to set this up, you have to turn this on, but it lasts for so much longer. This can actually last us about 10 hours of modem and router power. And not only that, this actually acts like a mini generator. Not only can you plug in your router and your modem, kaya pa rin niya to plug in electric fans, lights, laptops, desktop computers, kaya nitong i-power. This one is the 800 watt version, but meron silang mas maliit na version nito. It's a 400 watt version. And it costs, I think, around 7,000. I'll put all the Lazada links down below. But ito talaga ang ginamit namin nung Typhoon Odette. And even my siblings, ito din yung ginamit nila. Sold out to guys sa lahat ng hardware stores noong Typhoon Odette. Guys, sobrang okay na nito. But if you're the type of person na wants the best of the best, this is a lead acid battery, meaning an older technology battery. Meron power station that are using the newest lithium ion phosphate batteries, meaning it's faster to charge, it has more cycles, etc. etc. If you're the type of person to go camping and use it all the time and often, I'd recommend that as well. I'll put a link down below. It's called EcoFlow. Marami sila mga options. And you might consider that as well. But I'm warning you, it's about two times the cost of this one. So for backup, backup lang, this is perfect already. This one is from Greenfield. So that's it, guys. That's our video for today. I hope you like our little hacks. And I hope this has helped. And I hope to see you in the next one. I'll see you soon.